Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be decluttering and reorganizing my blush and highlight drawer. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> I was trying to like do this without looking. So this is my drawer. Oh, you can't even see that. So this is my drawer. Um, it's a little crazy. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get rid of a ton because the things that I have, I do like. I don't know, obviously we will see, but I don't really buy a lot of blushes and highlighters. I don't know why. I don't know why, but blushes and highlighters were just never really my thing. I'm so much more into eyeshadow. I say that all the time, but I feel like there is some room in my collection for growth. Like I wouldn't mind purchasing a couple more highlighters and blushes and you know cheap products also there's almost no bronzer and contour products in here i really only have two of them i have the fenty beauty into sun bronzer which is almost gone and then i have the charlotte tilbury one with bronzer i always just try to go through what i have before purchasing another one although i have had my eye on the kosas uh bronzer i'll put a picture of it here it just looks like a really nice undertone for me this is just going based off of online pictures but i just feel like it looks really pretty and i kind of want to try it so who knows maybe I'm like dabbling more into the face category than I previously did So I feel like organizing this drawer as well as decluttering some things that I'm really not using or interested in using anymore Will really help me kind of narrow down my collection and determine you know any gaps in my collection And it would also help me determine what would be good purchases for me based on what I already have in my collection that I already enjoy I am filming this on st. Patrick's Day So I hope you guys had a great st. Patrick's Day because I I probably won't get this up today, let's be honest. I'm doing the whole green liner look today. I'll zoom you in so you can see. This is the eye look we have going on. We have some green liner with some gold and some big lashes. I'm digging it. Also, I brought my blush up quite a bit higher than I normally do today and I'm kind of digging it. Let me know if you like this look. I feel like it kind of like gives more of a lifted look. I just never have been a fan of putting blush on the apples of my cheeks and because of that I thought for a really long time that I just didn't like blush but I think this is just like a way better placement for my face shape. Anyway, I will stop blabbing and we can get on to decluttering my drawer. Okay, so I've just pulled everything out from my drawers and I actually had quite a bit more than I was expecting. So this is what we are starting with. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly overwhelmed. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is start out with the bigger items so I can get those out of the way. First up, I have this Pixie by Petra bronzer, blush, and highlighter palette. And I actually really like this. Specifically, this highlighter in the center, as you can see, has gotten a lot of use. It's very reflective and very pretty. I like this kind of tone. It's like a warm gold that's still light. I'm gonna keep this because I like it. I have this little acrylic bin from the dollar store and I'm going to put my palettes and larger highlighters in here, I think. Next up, I'm actually going to declutter this one. This is by Pop Beauty. It's the Contour 101 palette. It comes, here, I'll flip it to the right side. It comes with a highlight, blush, blush. I wouldn't call that a blush, but what do I know? and a sculpt shade. I actually really did like this, but I just, I don't reach for it very often. Oh, do I wanna keep it though? No, no. Uh, mm, do I? Mm. I do like this sculpt shade. I have gotten quite a good use out of it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it for now. Man, I have a hard time letting go of things, but I just really like this product. So I'm gonna keep it, see if I get some use out of it. And then next time I declutter things, if I still haven't used it much, I'll get rid of it then. Next up, I have this blush and highlighter palette from Aether Beauty. This is rather new to me, so I am going to keep it. And I do actually like it, specifically these two shades, the highlighter and this lighter blush. I haven't really gotten a chance to dip into this much, but it just seems a little bit dark for me, but I still really like this palette, so I'm going to keep it. One thing I am going to get rid of is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I really did like this, but I just feel like it's too old. Let's do a sniff test. Let's see. Still smells fine, honestly, but I just, I don't know. I'm not really into the whole cream contour game. This formula is a little bit stiff. I did enjoy it though, so I don't know. I did really like it, but I think it's just time to move on. This is my Morphe blush palette. This is the 8W, I want to say. Yeah, 8W palette. I am going to keep this, I think. Uh, do I want to though? Oh, this is hard. I didn't realize how attached I am to some of these products that I didn't even think I was gonna want. Um, 
No, I'll get rid of this, I will. I don't really use it often and I did really like it at one point, but I think again, it's just time to move on and declutter and move on to new things. So this is going. This one is definitely going. This is the eight cool palette. I just don't reach for these shades, especially not like this little quadrant here. They're just, they're too deep for me, too deep of purples. They're not very flattering on my skin tone. So I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, next up are these massive ColourPop compacts. These two are Super Shock highlighters. I have the shade manifest that. I think these are supposed to be face and body, like they're from Soul Body, that's why they're the bigger compacts, I think. I'm not 100% sure though. This one is really beautiful. This was released with the tie-dye collection. Oh, that's very pretty. Keeping that for sure. Also from the tie-dye collection, I have the more pink toned highlighter. This is in the shade You're a Trip. Again, really like these, so I'm going to be keeping this one. And finally, we have the shade Coastin. This is from the Coral Collection. Again, another one that I really like. I think this is such a beautiful color and I really like it, so gonna keep that too. Some products from Morphe that I will actually be keeping are the Blush Trios. I actually got a lot of use out of these and I still do. I really like these. So I'm going to keep this one. That one that I just showed is Pop of Pink. This one here is Pop of Rose, very pretty. Oh, I love that. This one here is Pop of Fuchsia, and I'll be honest, I don't use this one that much, but I'm gonna keep it for collector's purposes because I'm keeping the other ones. This one here is Pop of Peach, and I'd say this is the one that I get the most use out of for sure. I love this one. And lastly, we have this shade called Pop of Poppy, and honestly, I don't use this one that much either, but again, gonna keep it for collector's purposes because I'm a hoarder. Maybe if I move these over, will I have better luck getting them to fit? There's just not enough room. Maybe I should put them lengthwise mm, i don't know or maybe i should just get rid of this palette is that a sign that i should get rid of this okay i'm gonna get rid of this i actually forgot i had this next product this one is by urban decay and it is their i don't even know what these are called the 14 hour wear bronzer highlighter blush trio this is in the shade rise honestly i don't use this a lot i am gonna try to though so i'm gonna keep that this one is a little nostalgic for me this is the sleek makeup uh, highlighter palette do you remember the good old days in og youtube when this was all the rage i am gonna keep this because my best friend got it for me you can't really get sleek makeup in canada very easily but yeah i'm gonna keep this product because my best friend brought it back to me from europe so that was very thoughtful of her and it's kind of nostalgic that way. So I think that's it for like my bigger products. Another product that I am going to keep is relatively new. It's from the Disney and Bambi collection. If you watched my review on this collection, you'll know that I wasn't a big fan of this highlighter. I will link the video in the cards up above, but yeah, I didn't really like this product, but it's still so new that I don't want to get rid of it yet, but I can definitely see myself decluttering this one in the future. Okay, so next up I have this acrylic bin for all of my single highlighters and blushes. I'm hoping that I have enough room in this bad boy because this is my my only one left, so fingers crossed. We'll start off with ColourPop. I have these two from the Garden Variety Collection. This one is Whole Nine Yards. I haven't used this one much. I don't know why, that's really pretty. And then this one is called Desert Rose. I've gotten a lot of use out of that one for sure. So I'm gonna put these guys, oh, I don't know how I should, should I just keep them like this? I don't know, I guess so. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop something. So next up I have these blushes from the Peach Collection. I'm pretty sure these are the same shade. What that shade is, I don't know because these are removable from their compacts and I know I rearranged everything, but regardless, I'm going to keep these. Next up from ColourPop, we have the shade Coral and this is from the Coral Collection. I think it was called Coast to Coral specifically, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have this blush from the Big Poppy Collection. This is the shade Out of Sight. Honestly, I don't love these shades because they have some glitter in them, but I don't know. I just, I want to keep them. Also from the Big Poppy collection, we have the shade Foxy. Again, with the glitter, not a fan. Then I have my two blushes from the Animal Crossing collection. This one is in the shade Mm, I forget actually. What's it called? Flower Tender. I swear I knew that. My memory is so bad. That's what that one looks like. I really like this one. It's very pretty. And then this one here is Flower Power. It's a little lilac for my taste, but it's still pretty and I have gotten some use out of it, so gonna keep that. Next up, we have one of my favorites from ColourPop. This is the shade Juice Bar from the Off Melrose collection. I really like this one. I think it's super pretty. I'm actually gonna keep this one at the front because I really do like it a lot right now. Next up, we have some Super Shock Cheeks. I could have sworn there 
there was a third one. Maybe I gave it away. Oh no, here it is. Haha. -ha. So we have three Super Shock Cheeks from the ColourPop wine collection. I'm gonna keep these for now. I could see me decluttering them in the future just because I think that they're a little dark for me, honestly. Then we have more Super Shock Cheeks. This is the shade Glo Growth Flirt and the shade Count Me In. I believe these came out with the Sweet Talk collection and they were made permanent. I'm gonna keep these two because I really like the colors. I don't know if this is the most effective way to store them. Probably not, honestly. Next up, we have two Milani blushes. I'm actually wearing Luminoso today. This is also the shade Berry Amore. I love these blushes. This blush formula is so pretty, so I'm gonna keep these, even though they're a little bit old, honestly. We're running out of room. Hopefully I declutter some stuff. We have this blush from Bare Minerals. I actually really like it. It's in the shade Calm My Blush. It's really pretty. I really like it. It's just a nice matte blush. Very pretty. I should use it more. Mm. Actually, will these fit back here? I don't think so. Oh, those fit perfectly. Oh, that was really satisfying if you saw it. I don't know if you could, my hand might've been in the way. Let's see, next up, let's, you know, let's put this in here. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I think I'm done for blush, honestly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all my blush besides cream blushes. So we have this one by Essence. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter. I really quite enjoy this still, so I'm going to be keeping that. One I will get rid of is the Essence Pure Nude Space Lighter. I don't know what possessed me to get this, but it's pretty crappy, honestly. Oh. Ew, it's like chalk. It's really not good. Don't waste your money. We'll be decluttering. It didn't get hardly any use out of this. Another one that's a chalky mess. This is the NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder. This is in the shade Twilight. Honestly, I don't know what made me get all of these really icy white but colored highlighters. I mean, I got them back in the day when colored highlighters were like a thing. This one kind of shifts blue, but still not flattering on me. Kind of chalky, actually very chalky. We'll be getting rid of this one. Okay, so some more that I will be decluttering. These are the Morphe highlighters. This is in the shade Lit. It's just, it's not great. It's really yellow toned. It's too yellow for me, so I'll be getting rid of this. Oh look, another white that shifts color, chalky mess. This is in the shade Starlight. Oh, I just don't like it. Getting rid of this for sure. Next up, I have this Milani highlighter. This is in the shade um, Afterglow. I actually really like this, so I am going to be keeping it. It's not fitting. Um, I'll put it back here for now with my other Milani products. This right now is my favorite. It's my Tarte Amazonian Clay. Um, what is this even called? Exposed highlighter. I really like this, so I'm going to keep it. I'm trying to pan it, so hopefully that works out for me. Oh, geez, sorry. Next up, we have some ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. This is in the shade Thimble and Lunch Money, some two classic shades from them. I really like both of those. Two cream blushes that I will be getting rid of. These are by Venus Organics. I was sent these and I did like them for quite a while, but I think they're just too old. Honestly, I would keep them. This is in the shade Marry Me. And then I have this one. This one was my favorite, the shade K Color. So pretty, but oh yeah, that's gone bad for sure as cream products do. That's sad, but um, yeah, these got a lot of love from me. So yeah, it's been a good run, but it's time to get rid of these. Is that even in focus the whole time? Probably not. Next up, we have Trophy Wife from Fenty. I will be keeping this because it's a classic, you know, even though I can't use it in a flattering way, I usually use it on my eyes and it's very pretty and I will be keeping it just because I like Fenty and Trophy Wife is iconic, you know? I will also be keeping this Fenty Trophy Wife like body shimmer. It smells really good. Mm, it smells like icing sugar or something. I don't know. It smells divine. And honestly, that's probably the only reason I'm keeping it is because of the smell, but I am definitely keeping it. I'm not ready to get rid of that yet. I will be getting rid of this Clove and Hollow Hydrating uh, Blush, Cream Blush. I just, I didn't like it and I never use it, so this is going. I have the three Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters, the loose ones. I will be keeping these. I could see myself decluttering these in the future. My friend Haley from Ginger's Beauty Corner gave these to me, so I will be keeping them for that reason. But yeah, they're not my absolute favorite. Loose formulas are just like not always my fave. Next up, we have two from Becca. The first one is Vanilla Quartz. I have hit pan on this, as you can see. I'm not liking it as much these days. I feel like it kind of leaves a gray cast on my face and I'm, you know, I'm not into that. It's not a good look for me, but I'm still gonna keep it because maybe I will start to love it again. And I have this one, Pearl Iconic for us fair gals. And I will be keeping that because it's the only really white highlighter that I have. I have this one from Kylie. This is in the shade 
Princess Please. I still use this a lot, especially in my Instagram looks. Whenever I'm doing like a cool tone look, I usually reach for this. So I definitely will be keeping that. Have I run out of room? Oh no. Another Kylie highlighter that I love. This is French Vanilla. I'm gonna get rid of this. I freaking love this color. I just, I feel like it's so good. And I feel like no one really talked about it because it wasn't that super crazy beaming highlight that everyone loved at the time that these were released. But I really love this. I think it's so beautiful, but it's just really old and they don't even sell this anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of it for that reason. Another from Kylie, I have the Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini and you will see how reflective this is. I'll swatch it for you. Are you ready for this? Whoa, it's so reflective and sparkly. Ugh, oh, love it. Keeping that for sure. I think I might officially be out of room. Great. I'll just put this on top. <laughs> I am gonna get rid of this. This is by Fenty. It's the Match Sticks. This is in the shade Starstruck. I do like it, but it's just kind of a dry formula and it's really old and it's cream, so I will be getting rid of that. This one I'm kind of on the fence about. Again, my best friend, she got this for me and I really wanna keep it for that reason and for the fact that I love the formula. It's really pretty. It's just too dark for me. But I feel like as an eyeshadow, this could be really pretty. So maybe I'll stick it in my eyeshadow drawer. It is a mini, so that kind of works. And I think I'll do that because this is only workable for me as an eyeshadow. And last out of the powder highlighters, we have this Too Faced, uh, I don't even know what this is called. Blinded by the Light Love Light Prismatic Highlighters. I like this one. It didn't get rave reviews because again, this was released when the blinding highlight was super in. And I just, I feel like this is really pretty despite it not being like the most intense. So I'm gonna keep it and that will go right there. I have these two blush sticks that I'm gonna keep. These are from ColourPop. I am gonna keep these, yeah, for sure. I kind of had a moment of doubt there, but I'm definitely keeping these. I don't know where to put anything. But as I said before, this is my last acrylic bin. I have this Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Happy. I actually really love this and I'm going to be keeping it for sure. Finally, we have this cream blush from NYX. This is the Bear With Me Hydrating Cheek Tint. I actually really enjoy this. I find that the finish is super beautiful. It's not even focusing. Hello, but yeah, I just feel like it's so pretty on the cheeks and it's perfect for summer. Whoa, that was hard, okay. Oh, maybe not. Mm, yeah, I think that's gone bad. I'm gonna get rid of it just for that purpose. I was gonna keep it, but I don't want to keep expired products in my collection. Okay, so that is my entire collection. I was able to fit it into two acrylic bins, which is amazing, and let's put it back in the drawer. That's not gonna fit. I'll put that over here. Okay, so that is my finished drawer. That feels really good. All done. Oh no, I spoke too soon. This won't close. Okay, well, um, we can just put them here. And that is the completed drawer. I accidentally broke it. So uh, that's great. Love that for me. I'm gonna have to get Ryan to fix it when he gets home. So we're just gonna ignore that. It's organized at least. And here is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't know I had that much to get rid of, but clearly I do. And that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It really helps out my channel, you watching my videos, so thank you. Please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.